Welcome to Kingdom Builders Christian Center Church's weekly impact Bible study like none other. Where you will hear the relevant, reviving, and refreshing Word of God. Now here is Pastor Vernon Bright. Here at Kingdom Builders Christian Center Church, we want to thank you that are on Facebook with us. By your own Facebook with us, like and share. Share with somebody. Don't just uh, peek in the room, what we call it. Amen. Uh, like and share. Let them know where you're watching from. I'm pretty sure the minute you do that, somebody get right back in touch with you and let you know they're glad you're with us. We don't take it for granted because you could have gone someplace else. Amen. But you decided to stop back. The church of life. Now, let's, uh, amen. amen. We're going to jump right into the lesson and uh, thank our uh, in-house crowd. Uh, audience, not. We wish it was real crowded, but it's crowded enough. Amen. 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 We're going to talk about uh, a verse today that is you, well, we'll probably use more than one reference first, but we're going to be coming from. Romans, the first chapter. Verse number 20. You've probably heard about it before. And you're going to hear about it again tonight. Because faith comes by hearing. I have heard hearing. And hearing by the word, by the word, of, God. word of God. Amen. So I'll be reading from the uh, New International Version. It says, Are you there? Amen. Amen. For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, His eternal power, and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made, so that the people are without excuse. Guess what my topic is tonight? No excuse. No excuse. No excuse. Listen. God loves you, us, so much that he eliminated excuses for not loving him. Okay, I, your enthusiasm overwhelmed me. He, he eliminated all the excuses when he said all the promises of God are yes, yes and amen. And amen. 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 So all the promises are ours for the taking. There's no excuse not to have them. Right. I found out years ago uh, in the world. It's funny how the world can teach you stuff then you find out they got it from the Bible. <laughs> they try to take credit for it. Excuses are only good for those that make them. I mean, think about it. It was just, I, I heard somebody say today, I couldn't get warm today. <laughs> you should have put on some more clothes. Yep. And I did. <laughs> we make all kind of excuses to make excuses. That's right. Any excuse maker. Oh, yeah. Ooh, they got all the excuse maker on Facebook. <laughs> Uh, in here, somebody said. <laughs> we have to stop doing it because since the beginning of time, God has been revealing himself and his power to us. <laughs> God has the power to do anything you need him to do. Anything. And I think oftentimes, we don't do it on purpose, we forget that God is almighty. Right. I think we forget that. He's almighty in every area. Amen. Then sometimes I think we say, well, I'm not going to bother him with that little minute thing. That little minute thing is what you need Amen. to bother him with. Because he's able to do what you can't do. Right. Right. Now watch. Here's an excuse we have to stop making as well. I'm waiting on God. No, we're not. He place. said one time and said it, and ain't gonna say it anymore. It's finished. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, see, we thought 
he was just, he done died. He threw. No, he done, he done gone through ministry. Yeah. I've done all I need to do for you to get the promises. Mm -hmm. Watch now. He said, I went to hell and got the keys. Mm -hmm. What keys? The keys of your promises. Mm -hmm. He can unlock any door that any man shut. That's right. Mm -hmm. For you. Amen. And he can lock any door he needs to lock that no man can open. That's right. That's for right. you. That's why all the promises of God are yes amen. and amen. Right. Anything that God has hidden in his promises to us is not hidden from us. Amen. You got to catch that. It's not hidden from us. It's hidden for us. Amen. To keep Satan from stealing it. Amen. Okay, here we go. Got to got to take it back down the road. A long time ago, and I do mean a long time ago, you had to look for your Christmas gift if you were gonna get one, because it was hidden for you. It what? It, it looked like it was hidden from you, but it was hidden for you, so you couldn't find it. Because you would have no surprise come Christmas. Right. Right. Amen. Now, some things they could hide, but really they couldn't hide them. Like the apples and orange, you could smell them. You knew where they were, but you better not go find them. You better not. You better not go up on that bed. Uh, no, you, you, better, you better not go in Mama closet. You can smell them all day long. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that shows me you all you but I ain't say that loud. <laughs> because God has things hidden for us. Right. The world don't see it. But even though we're in the world, we cannot afford to be of the world. Right. Amen. Here's why. All the riches of the world are laid up for the just. That's right. That's right. Who's the just? You. Yes. If you believe in God, who has all power, the, the wealth of the wicked is for you, the believers. Now, don't just think, now, no. I'm just going to sit here and wait on the wicked to bring me some money. They ain't going to bother me to do it. No. No. You got to do something to get it coming in your direction. Right. Right. Got it? Right. We see it's, well, I'm going to show you how God will take care of you, okay? Show his power. And this why you got to stop making excuses. You don't know a secret. Mm -hmm. He'll wipe you out. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back. That was a some rain that lasted for 40 days and 40 nights. It flooded the earth. And it wiped out, as we know, mankind. Why? Because it was sin. He told Noah, tell them it's going to rain. Now listen, just because it never happened before when somebody tells you God's going to do something don't mean it ain't going to happen. The power of God. How many of you have thought to pray that God reveal to you open doors? If you don't ask him to reveal he's not obligated to reveal. Okay, I'm going to show you. You have not because you yes. if you don't ask him, he ain't obligated. Reveal to me open doors. And then once he revealed to you open doors, then you have to walk through the open door. He's manifesting his power when he reveals to you what you never seen before. Anybody know that I guess
used to say commodity prices are high. Mm -hmm. That means everything, you know, food, gas, water. Mm -hmm. you know. yeah. But anybody know that God is bigger than any commodity yeah. prices? That's right. right. Amen. Here's an excuse. I'm going to show you an excuse that we pray sometimes. Come on, hold it on. We'll say. Well, stuff just too high. Right? Amen. Don't leave me out there. Amen. But here, that's an excuse. Here what you should be saying. God increase my revenue. Or open a door of revelation. Why? Where I can do what I need to do. Amen. It's not the gas prices, the food prices, the commodity prices aren't bigger than God. Right. Amen. Oh, I guess it's a surprise God will get with the four dollars. Mm -hmm. That surprised me today when I saw something for two ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Now that's a surprise. <laughs> but it, but it is it, nothing surprises God because He's all powerful. Okay. Then the creation. Well, the creation of the world shows how powerful God is. Now watch. Now this, I just want to let you know how powerful God is. Anybody in here got some power? Be honest with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm, I'm going to show you how powerful God is. God said, let there be in that world. Mm -hmm. That's power. Now, do you really have that kind of power? Are, or let me ask this, are you operating in that power? Mm -hmm. This is what God says. He says, have faith in God. Mm -hmm. Or he says, have a God kind of faith. Mm -hmm. Whatever God wanted it, he called it to be. Right. You've got to stop making excuses and waiting on it. Amen. Call it like you want it. Somebody had a little health issue not long ago. They said, I did a whole lot of praying. You better call it like you want it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, stuff that's too high, you don't need to buy no house. Too high for who? God? Huh. Remember, all you need is an opportunity. Okay? We gotta take a look at how powerful God is when He made you. Alright. He made you. Watch this. He made you. You, you gotta catch this now. He made you with your fine self. Everybody who's far away. With your handsome self. With your all that in a bowl of chips. All right. Watch this. And he made you in us from dust. Yeah. Not dirt, dust. Yeah. How you gonna make all this out of dust? That's God. That's how powerful he is. That's how powerful he is. And then what? He's so powerful and so and so into himself and, and don't make the excuse. He said, that's good. Y'all ain't been reading the Bible. Everything he made, he said, was good. So you got to call it like at least how he called it. So here's the excuse you got to stop making. You think you're all that. And he is. You didn't know. You didn't get the memo. He said I was skillfully and wonderfully made. You didn't know. Oh, you didn't brag on yourself. I'll brag on what he did for me. Amen. He, I didn't make me, he made me. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't fun on Facebook. <laughs> okay, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna prove this. Some folks got to prove some stuff to when you put on your clothes in the morning and you look in the mirror, you tell yourself, you don't say a lot, I look good in this. You ain't going out the door till you think you look good. Ain't nobody got to tell you. 
Sometimes you try to play it off. You like this? You don't feel like it or not. You already know. I'm just too real. Keep being real. You gotta stop making excuses for not being all you can be. That's all I'm. That's all we're talking about in Romans one and twenty. He said, "You ain't gotta make no excuses. I did it." You're not bragging on yourself. You're bragging on what God did. Amen. That's what you're doing. You glorifying Him. You give Him His kudos. And when you talk to Him, that's why I want you to stop making excuses. Stop going to Him with pity party. Right. God, you know, you know what I'm going through. He already know that. You tell Him, now show me where out of this. That's what you do. He already know. If he all powerful, all knowing, he's sovereign, he knows everything. Nothing slips up on him. He knows you're going through. Amen. When you go through, like I taught a couple of weeks ago, that's a back shot of your desert where your hope is. Amen. God allowed you to go through some things, especially his own, when he trying to get some mess off you. That's right. All right. He trying to get some mess off you to make you see him. Amen. Anybody ever been sick? Amen. No, no, I'm talking about showing up sick. Mm -hmm. You couldn't even pray you that sick. All you know, look toward heaven and remember what God has done. Mm -hmm. God brought you out of that. Got it? God is your God in tight places. Anybody been in a tight place? Mm -hmm. I'm talking. I'm, I'm talking about, I ain't talking about a rock and a hard place. I'm talking about a tight place. Mm -hmm. Well, no way out. But God. But God. And you knew it was God. They're about to remind you. Amen. Man has no excuse for rejecting God. Not just man, I'm talking about mankind. We have no excuse for rejecting God. I would have served the Lord today, but put a pen there. We wind the tape. Get your butt out of the way. Amen. Get it out of the way. I didn't say you'll be your teacher out of your butt. Because <laughs> oftentimes in the English grammar, I think help me with you small grammar people. When you say but, you just count what you say. That's right. See, I, I would come and but. No, you wouldn't. You just counsel that. Right. My little baby girl, I, I, I gave her a nickname. I gave her about to. That was a nickname. <laughs> Every time you catch this up, I was about to. Well, a song. I said, God, I said, that was what you were born to say. I'm about to. I was about to clean my room up. I was about to do that. I was about to watch the dinner. I was about to. Girl, your name is about to. That's what you were born to do. Say about to. About to. You can't keep making excuses. We Listen, there's nothing wrong. Let me help you with this. There's nothing wrong with failure. Okay. Okay. Ain't nothing wrong with failure. If you don't ever shoot, how you know you don't hit? Right. You gotta make a move. Listen, let me let me put this. I've talked that I know of to three multi-millionaires. And, and every one of them told me the same scenario almost. They fell on them how many times before they hit. Yeah. But you got to keep shooting, guys, and on the hit. Yeah. Now I got one daughter shoot. Shoot them. I ain't joking. I ain't talking about no gun. Well, she might shoot a gun too, but she don't shoot. <laughs> I ain't got to make a move. What I'm talking about? You talking about her that night? I ain't gonna need you. You, you talking on deaf ears? No. Every now and then she hit. I don't reject an idea she have. Not reject. I listen to what she may have to say. And I be listening with both ears. Until maybe finance come in and I start dialing down. 
I'm just saying. I ain't pushing them to shove. Now, come and on. And supportive at that time. <laughs> but I love about it. But she was shooting. I'm telling you, don't make excuses. You can't want to do that. Hold on, would you look at this name? It's okay. I know the bad luck. She put it back. She said, I don't want to go to work for nobody. Ain't no more with that. I can do this. I can do that. I never really shut down. It's okay. She shot but she changed her mind. <laughs> I mean, come on. She changed her mind. She squat. She sat down. They're making excuses and count the cost. Mm -hmm. I want to be this many thousand dollars in debt. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no insurance. Come on. Mm. I, I would rap, and I, I, would, I love having a test drive. Cause she wouldn't act for nothing. All right, you need the money. <laughs> But you, but hey, but you never know till you try. Right, 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 right. God, right. ah, man, He made a way for people to know Him from generations back up until now. Amen. <clears throat> God is the same. Watch this, y'all can't. He ain't got no excuse. God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Yesterday, today, and forevermore. He ain't gonna change. That's right. So if He was good back then, He good now. If he did it for great grandmama, he'll do it for you. Right. If he did it for great granddad, he'll do it for you. Yeah. Are you listening to what I'm saying? If he did it for you, he'll do it for your child. Y'all better hear me. Yeah. Right. We got to make the effort to get through the open door that God is opening in this season. Yeah. We got to stop making excuses. Yeah. Amen. I, sometimes I have excuses when I want to preach. Don't look at me like that. Everybody left faith, but come back. <laughs> Sometimes I don't want to preach. Okay, okay, okay. Like you don't never come to church, man. <laughs> I'll be faking it. I can't make no excuse. Well, I'm mad as hell to be going ahead <laughs> I can't make no excuse. Okay, I'm looking at like I got to my father's man. He might say, but you know what? I'm mad as hell too. I ain't going to give you no breath. Right. Amen. Come on. Nothing. Yeah, you talking. He get mad like we eat. Now he could get mad. Boy, I'm glad he don't stay mad. Y'all know how we are. We get mad and just stay mad. And, hey, we, we stay mad so long we forget why we're mad. <laughs> Talk to me, somebody. To what you mad about? I forgot. Why you mad at me? Why you, I, I, no, well, you know what you did. Now, you, you know what you did. <laughs> right. yeah, he mad because I don't know what you came on Now you mad because you don't forget. Right. Now think of something. Make up something. You mad. Six, seven years. You remember you? Amen. <laughs> He planted the gospel in our hearts. Thank you, Jesus. The gospel is good news. Anytime you get some bad news, run to the word. Amen. Good news. God is able. When they, when they don't mind helping you, God is able to do it. See, in the bunch of our bosses, you can actually think. When one of them has helped you, when you friendless, God is a friend for the friendless. I'm lonely. Come to keep in the midnight hour. Amen. He see every tear you shed. Anybody ever cry so much you flip your pillow over and it was still wet? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm for real now. Mm -hmm. You be trying to find a dry side of the pillow and both sides wet. Mm -hmm. It's time to stop crying in mm -hmm. and find out what God said. Because let me tell you something about your tears. Even though He see them, they don't move it. Right. Ooh. He mean, no, he ain't. He said, okay, I see you crying. Now, come on. Come on with it. My little grandbaby be crying. She be crying till she get attention. Mm -hmm. Then she stop crying. <laughs> we just crack all we can. Ain't nobody gonna make up a cry. Get you out of trouble. Get you out of trouble. Come on, you be trying to free yourself. <laughs> Anybody, anybody getting mad for no reason? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe we got to read. Now, listen, don't tell nobody. Some people get mad because they get hungry. 
Hangry. It's hangry. Give me a snicker, Mom. I mean, just right. Stop talking about me. Why are you playing? Why are you getting mad? Because you're hungry. Get you something to eat. This one just said, I don't want that. You ain't too hungry. Yeah. God has blessed you, us, to bring the word of the gospel to a dying and lying world. Amen. Amen. Hopefully they're the truth. That's, that's the truth. The truth will set you free. Amen. Now my wife got a word. The book of Tabitha said, the truth will set you free and get you healed. <laughs> In some instances it will. But the truth will make you free. Right. Yes it will. Both need to know the truth. That's the truth. I heard a testimony Sunday after church. See, everything don't happen inside the wall. I heard a testimony. A lady, young lady would testify. I mean, we would testify. Amen. Right. See, folk need to hear the truth. Yep. Yep. Right. yep. And it helps somebody. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes. The, the Bible says this is how you overcome. By the blood of the Lamb and yes. your testimony. Yes. You got to tell somebody what God has done for you. Amen. When I was down and out, God reached down and got me. I ain't gonna make no excuse. I just ain't gonna do that no more. Right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah, boy, y'all going good. We're gonna get this thing done tonight. God is ready for us to stop making excuses and stop giving everybody else room to make excuses. Mm -hmm. Okay, watch this. If I'm treating you right. I expect you to treat me right. Amen. Now, I'll, I, now I know this now. I'm going to reap what I sow. Mm -hmm. I may not reap it where I sow. Right. Mm. Now, watch this. My daddy had to say, my daddy wasn't too educated, but he was a smart man. He told me, said, Vernon, if a dog bites you once, blame the dog. Dog is being dog. Dog bites you twice, don't blame the dog. Dog still being dog. Now you knew the dog bit you the first time. How you go back and move the dog the second time? You got to move on. Dog just being dog. Okay, you missed it. You missed it. You missed it. Some of y'all just love everything and everybody. Long as it's cold, you can pick up a snake. I ain't picking up no snake. I'm, I'm just saying. If it's cold, you can pick up a snake. It ain't gonna move. You can put it next to your breast. Long as he called, he ain't gonna move. But the minute he warm up, you bit. The minute he warms up, you bit. You fool the snake, you get bit. You got some folk in your life. Stop making excuses. I just, but I just want to get along with everybody. You can't get along with everybody because everybody gonna let you get along with them. That's right. Preach, preacher. They're not. They don't want to get along. They, they, they got you food. Right. Mm -hmm. They don't want to get along. That's true. Mm -hmm. Just look like a king. Don't waste your time when folks throw rocks at you, throwing rocks back at folks. Mm -hmm. This is what you do. Catch them rocks, build bridges, because all they're trying to do is get to you. Right. They're trying to get where you are. You ever notice how folks will talk about you when they know you're a little bit ahead of them? Yes. Amen. Say that again. Come on. You ain't got to have, you ain't got to have nothing. nothing. They figure you got something. Yeah. See, they count your blessing better than you. Oh. And another one, they stop talking. You back over there with them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Miserable little couple. Ah, oh, boy, y'all getting this, boy. You can't give up. Amen? Amen. Amen. You cannot give up. And the one thing you can't give up on is Jesus. Amen. 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 Watch this. It don't hurt you. <coughs> what I say? It don't, it don't hurt, hurt you. To think about it. Don't go through with it. Right. Amen. Okay, okay, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Jesus thought about giving up. Ah, sure oh, y'all don't believe that. Y'all look at me like Cap, you lying. Okay, and the God like a seven. On his way to the cross, he said, I need to pray. Now watch, Jesus are both human and divine. That's right. O 
old preacher said it like this. When he was saying, I got to go pray, his mama done kicked in. That's the natural side. Right. He trying to get out of going to the cross. Right. Yes, he was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Watch this. He came over to the excuse almost. Tried to make one. He said, y'all we right here. Talk about his boys. Disciples. Why go y'all and pray? He went to pray and get it out. So he come back. Y'all can't stay away from praying. He mad at them, but they went to sleep. Now you don't want to pray. Right. We just with you. You ain't told what you're praying about. He said, okay, I'll let you slide this time. Stay away. I'm going to go. When the second time come back, I have a dog. They want to sleep with him. But it's today they call. He don't want to go to the cross. But after talking, then his daddy kicked in. That's God. And he said, not my will, but thy will be done. See, we're trying to come up with an excuse. He said, if it, he said, if it be thy will, let this cup pass. An excuse. Right. It's some stuff you don't want to go through. Amen. Oh, yeah, I'm going to help you now, boy. But watch this. You can't make an excuse for not going through it because here's why. You told him you want better. Right. Yes. Come on. To get better, sometimes you got to go through some stuff. Amen. Amen. No, no. You got to go. I know sometimes you got to go through to get better. Yeah. That ain't guaranteed you. Right. Amen. Here's what he said, dude. Here's how you get better. And people are, well, you, you need to preach five grams so there's enough people out. If they don't know by now, they're going to hell by not serving God. They ain't going to know. But he said this. If you, if you want what's good for, or no, if you want some things, yeah, good for you. If you want some things of your heart, this how you get, he said. This is all you got to do, he said, the believer. Let me abide in you while you abide in me. Right. Now, when that happens, act to me what you will. Mm -hmm. Ask for what you will. He will give you the desires of your heart. Now, you say, well, you can't act for a miss. Now, watch this. If he's abiding in you, which his spirit is in you, now you worshiping him with your spirit, you ain't going to act for miss. Because right. you want the desires of what he wants for you. And he's going to always do more for you than what you desire. That's right. Here's here a blessing right here. You know, any, anybody like corn? Anybody? Ooh, yeah, girl. Ooh. Show up, girl. <laughs> on the car, in the kitchen, on the house. <laughs> <laughs> but you ever know you can sow one seed of corn? And you get a can of corn. You get an ear of corn. It's more than one. That's how God bless. God ain't going to let you out through him. He ain't going to make no excuse. He don't want you coming up short and blessed. The only reason you're not fully blessed, you ain't fully received. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, boy, I'm teaching, but I'm saying that, man. Oh, they done come back. All of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my mother told me to get on back in here. <laughs> Amen. Amen. See, God wants to do exceedingly abundant above all you can ask to think according to the power which works in you with your desire, your believing, your obeying. That's how you get your stuff. Amen. And what? God, when you stop making excuses, I start showing you things because now you, you know what an excuse is, right? A complaint. You stop complaining and start obtaining Obtain what God has for you. Amen. I'm serious. In the midst of that person, you got to do it. Amen. You got to do it, boy. It's nothing like going through something, come out smelling like a rose. Amen. Come on. Okay. Come on now. And your measuring stick is how you persevere. Amen. You ain't got to be in a hurry. We are now. But you ain't got to be in a hurry. Right. Why? Because the Bible says for the believer, the race is not given to the swift, nor to the strong, the one that keeps persevering. Dunn yeah. McClurkin yeah. said, wait, you fall down when you get up. Get up. Get up. You keep rolling. You keep rolling. And don't listen to those naysayers. Amen. The excuse makers. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You don't need them. 
Anybody holding you back, you don't need them. That's right. If they can't help you, be quiet. I'm serious. And you and watch. The world need to see God keep a blessed. Amen. Amen. Well, I lost y'all on that. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm going to say this because y'all don't think I'm brave. Uh, my daughter said she has a house. Her house is over there but he's doing all that improvement. <laughs> a man tried to tell me, did you talk to your daughter said, about what? About that house, I said. Why are you asking me that? Well, I think I said, no, she thought that. <laughs> she wanted it, she got it. <laughs> she got something in mind. Well, I just said, no. To be honest with you, to be, to be fair with you, to keep them, I got to stay in my zone. We need to stop talking about my child. Okay. Let my child do what my child want to do. If you ain't helping us, don't end up. Be quiet. I'm serious. Yeah, y'all know I got perfect kids. Oh yeah. <laughs> Man. Yeah. It's a perfect. I ain't found yet. Um, we gotta learn to encourage one another. Amen. Amen. In the Lord. Cause see, my daughter looking at this. I call it a diamond of the road. All around it, they building everything. Y'all know who lived there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all they say. Yep. That's all they say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that old big ass brother like, heard he got a piece of property across the other way. I go, look at this. Mm -hmm. See, you don't know how God will make a way. Mm -hmm. Opportunity after opportunity. Got it? Now I want you to take the time tonight and I want you to pray that you get to know God even better without making excuses. Amen. 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 I'm serious. And, and pray for other people. You know, and I want you to be as bold as I know you got to go. I want you to be as bold as this. And this is how, this how I talk to God. You, you may not be there yet, but I want you to learn to get this bold. I talk, I, this, I go to God like this. I need to talk to you. <laughs> I mean, straight up. I need to, no, I ain't got, no, I need to talk to you. Lord, if you got to talk, no, I, you all, you, you ain't busy. I need to talk to you. If you don't help me, I ain't going to get this right. right. If you don't help me, I can't do this. Right. Now, you call me to do this, you need to show me how. Make it plain. I ain't got time to be reading no references. Show me. So I can get this right. I don't play them games with God because he don't play games. Right. Here we go. For God is not mine. That with your man. Thank so you're going to weep. Don't play with him. <laughs> Y'all got it like this old folks said. You play with a puppy here. You're not mine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say? <laughs> I can't pick up one of the soft man with him. And watch what he do. <laughs> pick him up and put him up there. Watch. So we got to go to God. Oh. Stop making excuses. Amen. You ain't got to go to explain your past. He even said, why are, we, why are we going down that road? Here it is. In the beginning. We don't know where the beginning was. That's why you don't have to make no excuses. In the beginning, God went to your end. Y'all catch that? Mm -hmm. In the beginning, he went to your end. That's right. Then he came back and created you. Yes. Said, let's walk this thing out together because I know every pitfall. I got you. No more excuses. Mm -hmm. It's God's word for God's people. Amen. 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 If this ministry has been a blessing to you, this word has been a blessing to you, I inquire you. I beseech you, brethren, by the mercy of God. That you sow into this ministry. You can use the give up by app. Download it with the Kingdom Builders Christians in the church. Or you can use a shortcut with the cash app. The dollar sign. KBCCC 55. 
and you be still on the good ground. And remember, you stay focused, you stay in faith, and you stay connected to the church like none other. We are kingdom builders, Christians in the church. See you Sunday. Love you.